The Influx Initiative is an ongoing series of temporary art installations activating vacant spaces. Influx features a diverse collection of site-specific public art projects that respond to the evolving cities. Scottsdale Public Art launched the Influx Initiative in October 2010. After a successful first year, Influx returned for a second cycle, featuring expanded programming and an innovative regional partnership with Tempe Public Art. And Influx Cycle 3 is slated to begin in fall 2012. Featuring additional I think that the public art is more to engage people in starting a conversation of some sort. Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings, and the quote from Seneca, a Roman Stoic playwright, first century AD, cut out of large pink vinyl. There's a QR code out front, and you can scan that with your phone. Scanning QR codes, I think, can be fun, and you get to find out sort of like a secret, you know, what's, what's behind this thing. And I, I am really happy with how that part is turning out and how it's starting to engage people and how it makes it more than just here's this thing on a wall on a building um, that sort of gives it this other light. The reason that it's cut out is because I wanted people to be able to look in through the window still and see the space that was left over from workers. In addition to being good for the artists, they get to have some art in the windows, but there will be new stores that come in and hopefully can help pick up the area. What new beginnings would you like to see on Mill Avenue in the future? I like to apply for temporary commissions just for the reason that they allow this vast experimentation. It's a way to experiment with new ideas, technology, electronics, and interaction. They speak to the general public in a really fun, engaging, lyrical way. We knew that the window front installation would be up during the summer hours with monsoons coming in. So we wanted to capture a feeling of that time of year to evoke the feeling of impending weather. Each image goes in a separate window front and evokes a weather mood. In front of the images are silk, which softens the image and gives it motion. There's sound, there's light, and there's motion detection. When the streets get dark at night, there's photoluminescent border that echoes some of the patterns in the images. It was really invigorating to be out here and doing it because it's just, um, you know, you get constant, constant feedback from the people who are going to be seeing your piece every day. It's very different than the relationship people have with your piece when it's finished on the gallery wall. I like the opportunity to interact with the public during the actual construction of the piece. It was great because it was a site-specific project and I could really directly relate it to Tempe, a place I had a connection with. I decided to build one installation where I took a lot of different individual drawings of Tempe landmarks, recognizable landmarks, and wove them together into one whole piece around the whole window. And I like seeing how people interact with the piece. Once I, I came around the corner and there were some teenagers and kids like out here filming a little video of a guy breakdancing and slowly like walking down the window and like doing this little dance like all along this back window right here. That's, that's cool, right? <laughs> I was really happy that I was able to um, work within a public space because it gave me the license and the opportunity and the purpose for really exploring how one single piece of art can function in a public space because this is something that will be seen for months or anybody can walk by, anybody can see it. I did a lot of the manufacturing and the installation during the evening and during the art block and there were people who would stand there and watch me sew and watch me pin and it was a little unnerving at first but then you kind of get used to it and then there are people who knock on the window and they, they come and they ask you questions and they say what are you doing and then as the dress started to take more and more and more there were people who would come to me and say oh that's really beautiful and of course when you're creating any sort of new work of art you have moments of self-doubt so when the audience that you're creating it for says oh what you're doing is really nice even before it's finished that's really nice as well I proposed Influx a year ago, so at the second opportunity, I jumped at it and luckily got picked. My subject matter is using building materials and repeating a, an element of it over and over and over again, and basically making it into something that looks very rough, but giving it an organic feel. So I just decided to use PVC. Part of it I did in my studio, and then when I got about halfway through, I decided I needed to bring it here 
in order for the piece to tell me exactly how it wanted to be, what form it wanted to be, all that sort of stuff. And then I ended up putting icicle lights inside so during the night it would be illuminated. I enjoyed it. the public interaction and people actually getting their reactions, whether it's good or bad. You know that it's not here for very long, and so you know I might come visit one city that I know has temporary artwork, and the next time I come visit, I'll make a point to go look in those spaces because I know there was artwork, and so I want to go see the new one.